I think at the city, state, and national level, it shows that uh, th this club, which has a rich legacy that dates back to the founding of the party itself, uh, the predecessor org for this club, um, what was the uh, club that invited Lincoln to speak at the Cooper Institute, and that speech catapulted him to uh, the Republican nomination, and you're seeing that legacy bear out today. Back in 2019, there were 60 members in this club, and now we're coming up on 1,300 members, and we have an email list of 80,000. We have a, a, a Twitter following of over 20,000 now. We have more Twitter followers than the New York, uh, than the New York Democratic State Party. Uh, th I guarantee you this year we'll pass the GOP State Party. Um, and it shows, you know, we're the, we're the thought leaders at the city, state, and national level. Um, you know, they like to say, oh, you're a Trump cult. No, actually, we see in him somebody who is articulating a different type of America that returns us to a constitutional republic. I think he's the Woodrow Wilson for our times. I don't like Woodrow Wilson as a president. Uh, I think he's a precursor to a lot of bad things we became. Um, but I think uh, a Trump is a precursor to a lot of things to come, and the things to come um, are represented by thought leaders um, in this club. Uh, we put out a national platform, and then Trump put out something very similar a few weeks later that had it was very pro-family policy agenda, uh, pro-natalist agenda. Um, much of the world can't replace its population right now, and America is dangerously slipping towards that as well. And if you can't replace your population, you don't have a future. You have a nursing home. So um, th this club is talking about the right issues, and they are pro-civilization, pro-America issues. Um, you know, in 2020, because people didn't like mean tweets and Donald Trump and, and the political professionals of our time were embarrassed, they decided to end society to make sure that Trump didn't get reelected. We'll just shut everything down and we'll end society. Um, and it was chaos all summer, and it was a lot of gaslighting, and the gaslighting continues. And this club is pushing back. Um, and, and I would argue that um, obviously, uh, you know, Trump's not going to be around forever. Whether he becomes uh, president again or not almost doesn't matter anymore because the most important, important election of our lifetime already happened. It was in 2016. And a lot of people, including myself, a lot of members of our club were very skeptical. Um, there's actually a lot of Obama to Trump voters in our club, a lot of former Democrats in our club. Um, I'm a former Democrat, um, but I was a populist Democrat who grew up in a small town. I got here and I'm like, this, these politics don't make any sense. Um, it doesn't add up, and th this, but also the establishment of the Republican Party doesn't really stand for much either. It's a uniparty, um, ran by the coast, ran by coastal elites, and I don't have anything inherently against elites or the establishment if they are producing good outcomes and providing good societal stewardship for the country, but they're not. We have been in real and relative decline for three decades, and people in 2016 and many people today see in Trump an articulation of an alternative. And that alternative was different from Republican classic that they were used to. And it, it you know, in a way fused together um, a lot of the politics that had kind of been abandoned and the people that have been left behind. A little bit of Ross Perot, a little bit of Pat Buchanan, um, uh, you know, and, a, and, and then a little bit of uh, kind of the real politique uh, and realism of Richard Nixon. And, and things that have proven time tested and successful. Now, you going back to this club, we reach back into Dwight Eisenhower. Uh, this club staffed the State Department under Eisenhower. Uh, I would argue the America of 1950s was uh, the peak of this country so far. Yes, there were things wrong with the country then, but it was the it was the relative uh, peaceful pa uh, peacefulness of that post-war era and families that actually stayed together um, and had had a uh, you know a good foundation of, of, of growth that was broadly shared that enabled us to I think have the conditions to have some of the social movements and, and, and actually create some of the gains that that uh, later are credited to a later era so um, I think this club has a rich and proud history and it's been revolutionized uh, it's been revitalized I should say in the last four years um, and the sky's the limit we're gonna keep growing um, and we're going to keep uh, being thought leaders at the vanguard of, of what is a populist, conservative, patriotic, return to tradi tradition uh, fusion 
coalition and fusion party. Um, and uh, uh, we can we can you know either be an echo or we can be a choice and a genuine alternative for the future. I think I, I think this club attracts a lot of people that see this country, which they love, as in real and relative decline. And they're looking for thought leaders and articulators of how we get out of it. Thank you.